and welcome to Tech Takeoff 2025. We are excited to talk to you about what's new for Windows 365 and as a virtual desktop. I'm Joydeep Mukherjee, and with me is Nandita Sharma. We are both product leaders here at Microsoft, and today we will be talking to you at an overview level about our, our entire roadmap. Then you can choose to go deeper in the topics of your choice in the follow-on sessions. To start off, we will do the Windows 365 roadmap. We will be talking about the recently generally available features, as well as the things that we have put into public preview. Then we will move over to Azure Virtual Desktop and do the same thing. Not to worry, all the things that we talk about are available as public sources of information, and we will provide you a long list of references at the end of the session. All right. Let me give you a highlight tour of our recent and upcoming innovations in Windows 365. Starting with the foundation and really the first principles of everything we do here at Microsoft, security and reliability. We have recently enhanced our data security capabilities through two new additions. The first is Microsoft Purview Endpoint DLP support and disk encryption with Microsoft Purview Customer Key. These two investments are one more dimension of our integrated security story across the Microsoft stack, which, as you know, is based on zero trust principles. With these and the other security investments we are making, we want to make sure that all your investments in Microsoft 365 security just work out of the box with Windows in the cloud. On the access control side, we released Intune scope tags for Windows 365 for iOS and Android. Other platforms, soon to follow. We also released Entra, Passkey, and Fido support on macOS and iOS. Same story there, other platforms following soon. Support for Intune endpoint privilege management and tamper protection policies round out our latest developments in this space, along with the recent release of mobile application management across platforms. Our reliability story is enhanced further by our constantly expanding global footprint. Recently, we released in Sweden Central, South Africa North, and Israel Central. Now, let's talk a little bit about how we are progressing on the journey to enable a seamless end user experience. I'm sure many of you have heard the buzz at Ignite last year on Windows 365 Link, a whole new device category developed primarily to experience Windows 365. Windows 365 Link is for organizations that have desk-based workers to enable secure productivity in shared workspaces such as hot desks, call centers, reception desks, labs, and other similar situations. We are in public preview and looking to GA soon. Uh, if you've not tried it out so far, go for it. At Ignite, we also release the Windows app. The Windows app is our strategic direction of how the world will experience Windows cloud and virtualization experiences. The Windows app is generally available on Windows, web, iOS, Mac OS, and it is publicly public preview on Android. We are looking forward to bring the Windows app on Android to general availability very, very soon. Along with the Windows app, we have also been busy improving connection reliability. We released support for UDP turn connectivity. Now, this is a big step forward for performance on lossy networks. We continue delivering on in-session performance enhancements across graphics remoting enhancements with the HEVC codec, as well as the Teams VDI optimizations for Windows 365, which are now available on our gallery images. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on on our management abilities and management story. The big one here is our Ignite public preview announcement of Windows 365 Frontline Shared mode. With Frontline Shared, organizations can provide Cloud PC access to multiple users in a non-personalized, non-persistent desktop experience while simplifying the management experience for IT admins and improving end user productivity. Not to be left behind, 
on frontline dedicated mode, we release the concurrency buffer capabilities to enable temporary shift overlaps. This is so that your productivity does not suffer even for a second during the shift changes. We also add a GPU enabled cloud PCs to our lineup across Windows 365 Enterprise and Frontline. We release a powerful cost management tool for our endpoint admins with resize and downsize capabilities in Windows 365. Now, with support for group based licensing as well as support for resize through step up licensing. Our reporting and alerting capabilities were enhanced across many dimensions, including connectivity, availability alerting, utilizations insights, and even cloud PC recommendation that helps our IT admins choose the right configurations for their end users. Apart from our first party investments, we have been supporting a lot of innovation through our vibrant partner ecosystem on Windows 365 too. A recent release there includes uh, the HP Anywhere support for Windows 365. Now, HP Anywhere is a solution uh, for you if you want to experience Windows 365 on HP's PC over IP protocol. Our long-standing partner Citrix, we have increased our footprint of the Citrix integration there. You can now experience Windows 365 frontline on Citrix's HDX Plus. Last not least, you can now integrate Omnisa Horizon with Windows 365 Enterprise so that you can deploy cloud PCs using Omnisa's deployment framework. All right, that was the highlights package for Windows 365. I'm going to hand it over now to Nandita for Azure Virtual Desktop. Thanks, Joydeep. I'm excited to highlight many of the new features for Azure Virtual Desktop recently announced. While the roadmap is pretty robust with the line of several features, I will focus on innovations that improve the end user experience enhance security and reliability, and helps ease deployment and manageability. So let's start with seamless user experience. Calling redirection through MMR enhances video callback and calls in a remote session by offloading processing to your local device for a better performance. Video playback redirection optimizes embedded videos and decodes and renders it locally. Call redirection improves web RTC based calls by offloading them to the local device, thereby reducing latency and enhancing quality. The integrated VDI optimizations now in public preview takes this further by eliminating the need for separate web RTC plugins. This simplifies deployment, enhances media performance to support a seamless high quality Teams experience for virtualized environments, making communication more efficient and reliable. Finally, we've made it a priority to continually improve the Microsoft Teams experience for Azure Virtual Desktop users. We recently announced the general availability for a package of Teams optimization features called Teams VDI 2.0. These updated Teams features provide better call quality, reduced meeting join times, and higher reliability. These enhancements will contribute to our aim of reducing incident severity, frequency, and likelihood of service downtimes. Let's move to security and reliability, which is core to our offering. The ability to apply policy to require 15 minutes sign-in frequency is now in public preview. This strengthens security by enforcing more frequent authentication checks. This capability provides a couple of features. Number one, it provides stronger security as it reduces risk by ensuring users re-authenticate every 15 minutes, preventing unauthorized access. Number two, conditional access reinforcement works with Microsoft intra-ID policies to enhance session control. And number three, improved compliance helps meet strict security and compliance requirements by limiting prolonged access without re-authentication. Let's come to MAM or Mobile Application Management. Mobile Application Management for iOS and Android devices is also in public preview and allows users to customize device redirections 
and strengthen the security of the physical device used to access Windows 365 Cloud PCs or Azure Virtual Desktop Virtual Machines across environments that are unmanaged, managed by external tenants, or managed by organizations. Now let's move to manageability and deployment flexibility. FS Logics can now be found in the Azure Marketplace for Windows 10 and Windows 11 multi-session images. Hibernate support at auto scale feature is in public preview. You will have a better experience as session state persists when the virtual machine hibernates. As a result, when the session host virtual machine starts, the user will be able to quickly resume where they left off. Watermarking and screen capture protection can be configured using Microsoft Intune session catalog. Screen capture protection alongside watermarking helps prevent sensitive data from being captured on client devices using specific operating system features and APIs. When you enable screen capture protection, remote content is automatically blocked in screenshots and screen savings. With session host update now in public preview, an admin can update the underlying virtual machine size, this type operating system image, and other properties of the session host configuration, and then apply the same changes to all session hosts in that host pool. For IT admins to get more flexibility in deployment, we have some exciting news. With AutoScale solution, you can automatically start session host according to schedule or using start VM on connect and then turning off session host based on capacity threshold or user state defined in the scaling plan. App V for Windows is now supported by App Attach and Azure Virtual Desktop, helping application delivery for virtual environments. With this new capability, organizations can incorporate their existing AppV packages into the AppAttach framework, enabling seamless integration and streamline app delivery. Integration with partner solutions is also an active area of investment. The integration involves key partners such as Liquidware, Numicent, and Omnisa. These partners have incorporated their application delivery solutions with AppAttach, providing substantial benefits to IT administrators. This collaboration simplifies the process of running and delivering applications on Azure Virtual Desktop, offering a unified management console that serves as a central control point for our applications. This integration ensures that customers can bring their own existing app delivery solutions to Azure Virtual Desktop while gaining the advantage of Azure's identity, security, monitoring, and entitlement services. Let's move to call to action. We are continuing to innovate and invest across Windows 365 and Azure Virtual Desktop to provide the features that benefit users, admins, organizations, and partners. I encourage you to take advantage of the broad array of learning opportunities available Please navigate to what's new in Windows 365 and Azure Virtual Desktop to get updates and details on roadmap. Visit aka.ms forward slash AVD and aka.ms forward slash Windows 365 to get a full description of the services, offerings, solutions, customer stories, how to get started, and much more. On behalf of Joydeep and me and the entire team, we thank you for joining this session.